Welcome everyone, this is Blazing Cast, and today we're going to go over another plugin. So we are going on to a paper slash spigot slash bungee cord or bucket plugin, and it's called eBackup. It is a really useful plugin for backing up your server. It does this automatically for you. So uh, let's get into the config file. So this is just kind of the normal one. So this means pretty much it's going to back up every uh, four hours. You can change, or this will do it on the fourth hour, which means it'll do it at 4 a.m. You can do it so it does it every four hours if you put a slash in front of it. So this will mean it does it every four hours, but that's up to you. You can only have one cron task up there so if you're trying to look at doing something a little bit more like doing it every certain amount of or every hour you choose that's not going to be allowed you can also choose the way that the file is created so you can do e backup date which is the most useful one it will also do time as well uh, this is how the date is formatted it'll do it by year month day hours minutes and seconds it will download to the plugin slash e-backups. That's what I usually have it do. Um, how many backups you would like to have before it starts erasing them? So you can change this to however many you would like. This will allow you to pretty much choose, oh, I want 50 backups or something before it starts deleting backups. Be aware this does not work if you're doing FTP or SFTP. Um, so this one's also nice, um, if no one's been on your server, it won't back up the world. So if a player gets on, it will back up the world, but if no one gets on, it won't. I usually leave this on because it also helps make it so that the server doesn't constantly keep backing up when players aren't in that six hour window or so. Um. Delete after upload. This will delete the file in uh, this right here once it's done uploading to the FTP server. I suggest doing this if you do FTP. Compression level. You can literally set this to whatever you want between 0 and 9. It all depends on your CPU that you have. The higher, so if you do 9, it's going to take a lot longer, but it's going to really decrease the size of your file. And here's kind of the FTP stuff right here. If you kind of go through this yourself, you can go enable it, put the file you have on your FTP server, you can choose it, localhost, port, username, password, all this other stuff. And then this is kind of just the backup stuff that... Um, this will be excluded, so this will ignore anything in this list. So plug in doing Dynamap. Dynamap won't do it. Or logs, cache, anything else. Or pretty much backing up itself. So, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. Let's get into the Minecraft world, just so that we can kind of show you what's going on here. Alright guys, we are back. So we're not going to do a whole lot in Minecraft, but just to kind of show off what we're doing. So if we do slash e backup help, oops, I forgot the up, help. So this will give us a list of permissions we can do. So the first one you can do is slash e backup backup and it will do a backup for you. Just a normal one. It won't do, um, or that will do pretty much just a normal one on like an FTP server or whatever you want to do. The e backup local does it only locally to it, so it won't do any FTP backups. The e backup list, you can see all the backups in the list of files that you have. The e backup status, it'll show you how disk space. Um, e backup test upload, which is a great one to do if you're trying to start um, your backup process and trying to figure out what went wrong. So, if you do test 
upload. What it will do is it will send it to a console. And give me one second. So I'm in my console pretty much. I'm running Pterodactyl. It's just easier for Minecraft and stuff. You can do pretty much a web UI. You can pretty much put your ports in and all that stuff and it makes it super simple and easy to use. Um, so if we go here, you can see right here, test upload was successful. So you can see in your console, it will actually tell you if it failed too, if you go that far. And then if you do E backup reload, it will reload the plugin for you. So if you have any questions, let me know. Um, what we're going to do is keep going on this series. Uh, this is a great plugin for backing up uh, plugins for world maps, just onto a different server so you can keep it safe and so you don't have to worry about, say, your server dying and you don't have any way of backing it up. So. Uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. If you want to see more about what we do, um, go to craft.traxon.net, and that is our Minecraft server that we do all this stuff on. That's kind of the server I'm in right now, so um, if you otherwise, hit the like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.